Tips for ECG recording in children. Limb leads may be placed more proximally on the limbs than the conventional distal placement. This will produce less movement artifacts in children who are less likely to stay quiet during the entire period of recording. V3R and V4R should be recorded in addition to the standard 12 leads. Standard paper speed 25 mm per second and gain 10 mm per millivolt are used for pediatric recordings also. Half gain 5 mm per millivolt recordings are done if the complexes are large. Recording can be done under sedation or during natural sleep or sometimes even by distraction techniques to keep the child quiet. Indications for ECG in children Chest pain is seldom of cardiac origin in children even though an ECG is often obtained for chest pain in children as in adults. Important indications for ECG in children 1. Syncope 2. Exertional symptoms 3. Tachyarrhythmia 4. Bradyarrhythmia 5. Cyanotic episodes 6. Heart failure 7. Electrolyte disturbance 8. Congenital or rheumatic heart disease 9. Kawasaki disease 10. Myocarditis 11. Pericarditis Evolution of ECG with age Right ventricular dominance is the role in ECG of neonates and is characterized by right axis deviation, tall R and T inversion in V1. Upright T waves in V1 is abnormal after the first 72 hours of life. Resting heart rate varies with age, progressively decreasing as age increases. Newborn 140 per minute, 1 year 120 per minute, 5 years 100 per minute, adult values being reached by about 10 years of age. The PR interval decreases from birth to 1 year of age and then gradually increases throughout childhood. At birth it is 80 to 160 milliseconds, at 1 year 70 to 150 milliseconds, at 5 years 80 to 160 milliseconds and at 10 years 90 to 170 milliseconds. Maturation of QRS axis in the frontal plane is earlier than in the horizontal plane. Dominant R wave in lead 1 occurs by 6 months while the dominant S wave in V1 develops in all by about 5 years. The following findings may be normal in a child though it may be abnormal for an adult. Heart rate above 100 per minute. QRS axis more than 90 degrees. Right precordial T wave inversion also known as juvenile T-wave inversion, dominant right precordial R-waves, short PR interval, short QT interval, short P-wave duration, short QRS duration, inferior and lateral Q-waves. Peculiarities of ECG of a preterm infant ECG of a preterm infant can have lesser amplitude of QRS and T-wave in limb leads less RV dominance, more leftward forces, more leftward QRS axis, higher incidence of deep Q in V6.